last weekend of archery season. We got two days of straight hunting. I'm getting a little concerned. I won't be able to fill a tag. It's kind of the way season's been going with missed opportunities and stuff. But we're gonna stick to it. And I mean, it's come down before to where I never fill the tag till right at dark on the last day. And those things happen. It's just kind of crazy how it works out that way. But it's, the key is just sticking to it and putting in the time. So that's what we're going to do the next two days here. We're going to hunt all day, both days. So we're going to cover as much ground as we can. And we've got a little different area. should be a little better. So we'll have better weather too. We just come, came off a winter storm, so... Should be pretty decent hunting, so I'll get after it. So as I was walking up through a clear cut spot, something looked kind of funny. Put on my binoculars. There it is. It's freaking pumpkins. For some reason, somebody or pumpkins are growing in this clear cut. Nothing but trees and three three pumpkins are curly <laughs> I'm hunting where I have cell service and my cousin just texted me he just spotted some elk where he's out deer hunting so right now we are in hightail mode back to the pickup that way we can go and try to get on those elk so it should be pretty easy to get on them I know right where they're at so I know the area pretty good just rush back to the pickup. I think I'm only about a mile from it, so shouldn't be too bad. Might do some running. <laughs> Definitely not being quiet anymore. They were looking right down the hill towards where I was. So I'm going to go back down the road a ways, circle back around and come in uh, beside them on the clear cut. Hopefully they won't see me coming through there. So I found elk. Now they seem to be pretty, I heard a couple noises and started staring down the hill. So. Might be a little jumpy, but we'll see if we can get closer to them. Cousin said there's a bunch of them. I only see them about, about five or six. So we got to keep an eye out through there. They could be all just spread out. So we'll see if we can get better eyes on them.
up and went back in the timber. That's where I left them. So we'll let them calm down for a little bit. I'm gonna get that camera out of the rain. Start raining. Figure I better book it back and get this stuff. So here we are. Take a little break, get a little food and water. It just sucks sometimes being that close to them and having it not work out for some reason. Looking back, you always think, well, maybe if I did something different, came in a different way, or whatever. But sometimes it just doesn't work out, it just sucks. <laughs> Bow hunting sucks. So, had a little bit of weather blow in. As you can see, kind of took refuge in the reprod here. Yeah, the rain. So, we're gonna go back down where we left them in the timber and get on their tracks and follow them, see where they went. I've kind of been watching up here. I can see another clear cut that they left and went through and across and they haven't came back. So I think they're just going to hold up in the timber down there. So we're going to go see if we can't get on them again. It's getting a little cold. Should be duck hunting. Got my duck pond down there, but instead we're up here trying to get an elk. Be a whole lot easier duck hunting, a whole lot warmer too. So. All right, guys, it's uh, <clears throat> last day here, archery season. Yesterday was just frustrating. Just kind of a recap what happened. I ended up getting on the elk. And, uh, it must have been about 11 o'clock. And ended up not getting a shot. One of the cows busted me. And, they, and then I spent the rest of the day kind of chasing them back and forth, back and forth. And then never quite getting ahead of them. But they just kept doing circles pretty much. And I backed out and went back in about an hour and a half before dark fear I'd catch him on top of the ridge up there but when I got in the bottom I ended up catching him in the bottom of the clear cut again so I don't think they're much leaving the area so hopefully we'll find them again this morning and be able to make something happen here so, kind of getting to be crunch time <laughs> this is it up with those elk. Um, the rain did a good job of washing their tracks away last night and this morning so it's hard to tell what they made yesterday and what's a few days old. So I think I cut something that might be their tracks headed to a, down the ridge so we're gonna head back to our pickup and go to the other side and we're gonna hunt it the other way back this way so hopefully we'll catch up to them but I mean who knows where they went it's almost impossible to tell right now so but if we do cut some tracks we or cut some fresh tracks we'll know they're from uh, after this morning because it rained pretty good so let's see what we can't turn up well, looks like it's two servings of tag soup for me. Just wasn't able to get it done today. Couldn't find where those elk went to, and so I just, man, it's just frustrating. Coming so close yesterday, chasing them around. Then seeing them last night right before dark and figured they weren't going to go very far, but they obviously vacated the area. So it's just frustrating sometimes to come so close and not get, not seal the deal. But it's always next year 
I mean, overall, this season was pretty good. I had my more than my fair share of opportunities and just wasn't able to make it happen or I passed on a couple opportunities of cow early and then that calf the late season then I passed on a smaller fork and horn buck uh, during first season too but it just it was just frustrating absolutely frustrating that's the way bow hunting goes sometimes. It's...